Greetings, hope you're well. My name is Chisha Politia and I'm Managing Director of the Rhodes Park Schools Group. It's a Sunday morning and I'm here standing at the entrance of our Woodford School Osaka's Ibex Hill campus on Main Street of Ibex Hill. And we have some very exciting news that we wanted to share with you. Construction has started. So I'm looking from across the road. I wanted to start off by giving you an idea of the geography of the actual project, how it works. Ibex Hill Main Street, as many of you know, there's Dream Valley up there, and it goes all the way down there to the uh, Total Filling Station, and then onwards, and then into Salama Park behind there. And I'm standing across the road, and there is the main entrance, the entrance that we set up um, for our campus. And on that side is where we've put our sports facilities. Uh, many of you will have come to attend the sports day last year, as well as other sports and PE that our children, uh, Woodford School Osaka learners, actually come to here. Now, on this side is where it's interesting. This is Denise Blocks. Denise Blocks is uh, Ibex Hill um, outlet. And when we bought this property, there's a long property here, two, uh, two, two hectares, uh, that goes this way. And we found they were already here. And then we started to design our campus in a way that the buildings will actually start being constructed from way behind there, along behind where IBEXO is. So for now, I, uh, Denise Blocks actually remains on there. There are tenants, they're paying us um, some rent, which we then use, of course, towards um, construction materials for the back. And then later on, as the construction of the classroom blocks comes uh, from the backs and comes forward, here in the front is where our swimming pool will be over there, and then our another main entrance will be here. There will be a, the, the main guardhouse will be here in the middle on this block, and we cross into this one, another gate there, and then uh, the main car park and uh, waiting shelter and some of the other structures will be here on this plot. So now walking into the actual uh, plot itself, and as many of you are aware, we have our sports facilities on this side. There's a guardhouse here. So you have the Chivansa here. There's a changing room, and then there's the courts. There's a bit, yeah, the Chivansa again, sorry. And then there's the courts over there. The actual construction of the classroom blocks has been designed to take place in that corner there. So you can think of an L-shaped and then that's part of the thing there. So you can see where the cars are parked, you can see the container there, and the construction is actually starting from there and coming backwards in this way. Let's take a quick look at the actual um, 3D of the campus design as it is.
So that's the actual campus design, how it will be. And as you can see, there's the main school campus on that side. And then on here is uh, the actual sports facilities. So again, our changing room there, which is used. And then the water borehole and the tanks there. And then this beautiful uh, Chibansa with these mounds, the spectator mounds as we call them with the trees on top. There's some trees that I'm walking under here that actually we found here and we've managed to look after them a little bit and they've now thrived and blossomed. It's important to have as much cover as possible uh, for purposes of shade for the users of the actual place. And here is one of our pride and joys, the uh, multi-sports courts that we actually built here. You'll notice that there's two of them. There's one and two. And these courts, look at that logo. Very, very proud of that logo. These courts are designed for um, basketball, netball, tennis, volleyball, and other sp uh, court sports in there. And they're all enclosed uh, in this beautiful diamond wire fence. The lighting is there if you want to use them at night. And these, of course, are available for our school community to use um, as and when they can uh, arrange with us. Here is our car park. So there's a gate over there, a second gate. And the, the, the buses, when they bring the children over to do the sports here, they come in and park here. And also parents, uh, when they come in to watch their children or um, to spectate or to use the courts themselves. So there's a close-up of our big logo at the end of the wall. Uh, Woodford School Osaka, Imiti Kula Empanga. Very proud of that logo. So we've had our sports facilities here at Ibex Hill uh, campus for quite some time now. And if you recall, we had the sports day here. And almost every week the children come for their PE um, in there and as well as in here. I'm now walking over to the uh, actual main plot where the actual, and I'll take you through how the actual campus is designed and some of the works that have already been done. Another rear view of our changing room it's got boys and girls there's an office a storeroom at the square at the end there uh, for some of the equipment with a, a door that opens there drinking water fountains of course and then this is the front here and of course the boys and girls toilets there's an office toilets and changing room sorry there's an office for the PE teachers in there so looking back at the gate where we come in and then the vehicles come in through here. There's actually a plot demarcation boundary just almost exactly where I'm standing between this, this plot on my right and this plot on my left. And this is the back of Denise Blocks here. There was a residential house that we inherited when we bought the property in 2018 and we use that for where our caretaker stays as well as where the storage of uh, the cement and the other building materials is. And this here is where the main campus will actually be. If you try to find my arm sweeps from over there all the way across and all the way here. And all of this will be occupied by the buildings that you saw in the design. Sunday morning church service in the uh, church that's next door. And uh, they are in full swing uh, doing their worship. Thing. So now I'm standing in the area where a lot of the academic buildings will actually be. We're starting from the back there where the TLB is and where the foundations have been dug and we're coming forward with four classroom blocks for primary and then over on this end there will be the admin block as well as the ELC block with two classrooms, uh, two classroom blocks and then the ELC play park and some over there will be the gensets and the other um, facilities for the general workforce there where they um, shower and do their ablutions and stuff right at the back end of the plot so panning back here so along here the four classroom blocks and then there will be the um, staff room computer room and library here and then over here where denise is at the back of denise there is there will be a um, the main play park for the primary and that will be over there 
and it sort of swings and we've basically spent quite a lot of time designing it uh, over the last couple of years and we're quite uh, pleased with what we've got in terms of design from all our experience in uh, doing school campuses for over these years in the Rhodes Park Schools Group. Putting together a big development like this new campus here requires the uh, involvement of a very good and experienced project manager. Our general manager, Mr. Mike Sanga, has been designing and building uh, school campuses uh, within the Rhodes Park Schools Group now for almost 30 years. And he's got a lot of experience. And we have a very strong team of uh, the admin staff, the bricklayers, and the builders, and even contractors like the people who hire us, the TLB that we've been working with for quite some time, the concrete suppliers, the steel, the architects, the designers. So we're very confident that we'll be able to do this campus as effectively and as well as we've done all our other campuses, whether it's Rhodes Park School, uh, main ca all the three campuses of Rhodes Park School, Ashford Academy in Guere, our latest school, as well as the main camp, the campus at uh, Kapulonga, uh, for Woodford School of Saka that it's been occupying uh, since 2013. And when we started this project the other day, uh, one of the first things that we do is have a site meeting where Mr. Tsanga was showing his team some of the works that they were going to be doing over the next few weeks. Yeah, yeah. factors I want us to very clear. Fine. Number one, we're not going to you know, hit these two parts. We need to look at the uh, party. On the human mobilization. You are not, uh, it's not something that you for me to say, but a full uh, continuous. It's really phased and that's the resources are now not too much about our better person. But uh, we are lucky that I'm a block of get from the guy's son, we can get a gift from the I think that's pretty much it. We're not setting everything, we're only setting those that we're going to work on now. But we'll have set the, the base, the foundation, the corner, the, the, the significant point to get started moving around. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah, thank you. But otherwise, uh, any questions so far? Since we are setting this point, we're in the condition. Yeah, so what we're saying is, well, you need to set this one. Yeah. Uh, I hope this how many meters in between this two? Yeah. 2.8. Point. We, we want to, yeah, you can, you can set them next to each other. It still uh, works. What we want is to start from that corner. And I'm, I'm very convinced that we can, the boxes we can do this within the 100 m just doing us. Both boxes up to the next, uh, putting and uh, up to the next. And this will be getting boxes and you know, we check. But our next target is to slab this guy. As to whether we're going to slab this one, we just have to be ambitious because we don't have time. Yeah, we just have to be ambitious. We don't have that. Because this was too close, so we put it here where like the materials to build this could be sitting anywhere here, which is the space next to it. Yeah. So that's the road. Then there's a flat one. After this, I think this one was just done next to this guy. But we, I can't talk to him for us. But I then we move to... across to the actual site where we're starting with uh, the primary blocks D and C that we're actually getting started with. And the first thing we had to do was clear uh, the grass that had grown there during the rain season and start looking at exactly uh, how things would get started before the TLB would come in the following day. Okay, the, the water cut is big enough to accommodate the first block. And where are those blocks are, we will just confirm. Those my rubbles are, the two blocks are here, and those rubbles are there. The carrot is into the third uh -huh. last line, yeah. Great. So we are okay. Uh -huh. So we just saw the guys now, Joseph is going to get some more, because we need to finish this there and bring this down, because the two be, uh, you know, we will be looking at, this thing should be open. Including here, so that they work up there. Uh -huh. We just want to confirm location of the guard house and uh, other workers. Can be comparative to this guy here. And here we are, two days later, with a lot of activity happening. 
um, the main plans that we have for now is to build the foundations of the first two classroom blocks. There's block D, which comes from down there up to there, and then block C as well, which is here. Let me get closer to the actual foundations which were excavated by the TLB. And it's good to see the concrete for the footing has been poured. And that's the water you can see as the concrete is, is curing. We try to mechanize as much as possible. And some of our experiences has taught us that it is quicker and faster to use uh, the TLB machine and other machinery, the precast concrete, than it is to try and do things on a manual. Here's some rubble that we got from somewhere. I can't remember where. And then, of course, there's some blocks that we have that will be coming in to build the footings. At some point, I need to be brave enough to jump across and uh, go closer to the works. But at my age, jumping is not something we do easily. And we have to submit applications to doctor's offices to, before jumping. So let's walk around. Here we see the block foundations have been started, so very excited with that one. This area is actually low lying, lowish lying, and it's actually flowing in from Upper Dream Valley, Kucha, and it's, the water does come through here, so we have to put our foundations a little bit higher, and you can see several courses in there. That's another thing that adds to the cost, but anyway. So the TLB is now spreading that. So over the next few weeks, a uh, few days, weeks, these two foundation blocks will come. And then after that, we'll start raising them, the block work, up to uh, the first level of the ring beam. Then we'll get into the other two foundations as well. So the construction, as you can see, is coming from the back end here, and it's going to come that way. It's easier when you start at the back, then you're, you don't have to have blockages and stuff to getting machinery and equipment and materials here at the back. the TLB come out so that it could turn around and now start using the dozer unit I think to do some more uh, spreading of the materials there. So we're finally on our way to making the Ibex Hill campus actually happen. We've had a lot of delays uh, in terms of when we first came here in 2018, we had to then uh, do the design, which took us a little bit of time, make sure that we had quite a few versions of the design. And we then had a design that we were ready with as we ended 2019, and then came COVID. And the lockdown really uh, put a strain on finances, it put a strain on operations of schools, uh, such as ourselves and the rest of the group. And we had to actually redesign uh, what we had initially planned, because what we had had what we call a maps there and it was it was something grand and everything but with all the economic challenges that we had uh, over the last few years and all the other issues we decided to go back to the architect and redesign something simpler so what we have now are classroom blocks that are more resemblance to what uh, we're already used to at Kablonga and then we're going to be able to build them in phases and each unit uh, block will actually be cheaper than if we had gone with the upstairs design and other things but it will still be beautiful and we're going to be able to have um, reasonably soon a campus that will be uh, very, very, very good for our school community as we continue to offer the value for money uh, private education that we are known for in the Rhodes Park Schools group. So that's a very quick look and introduction update to the start of the construction of our Woodford School Osaka Ibex Hill campus here. We're very excited. It's May of 2022 and we're hoping as quickly as possible we can make as much progress as possible. We have built a lot of campuses before and we're excited to be finally be able to 
builder on campus. As many of you would understand, the Kaplonga campus is a rented property. So currently as it is, the company has been paying for rent there, normal rent there, as well as the mortgage on the purchase for the purchase of this property and will now be covering the construction costs of raising up this campus. The Kablonga campus will continue for while you know things are moving on here because we can't exactly uh, destroy that one and then come here so we have to do double double on this one for the next couple of months so it will be quite stressful financially but as Rosepar Schools Group we're committed to this project and we're going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. So thank you for joining us uh, for this first update of the Ibex Hill campus construction. We'll be giving you more updates as time to time as the construction goes on as part of our accountability and our engagement with us, with you, our customers. So if you subscribe to this uh, channel, the Woodford School Osaka YouTube channel, and you press the uh, ding button, the bell icon, you'll be able to be, to be alerted whenever the new updates are coming. But we will also publish them more generally on our website, on our Facebook page, and through circulars and newsletters to keep you informed as to all the progress that we're, we'll be having uh, over the next couple of years of our construction here. Thank you very much for joining us. Please take care. Stay well. Bye-bye.